interiors and today I'm going to show you how to make this envelope pillow. It's got a solid front and then on the back side it has a flap where you can insert your pillow form. If you're a little bit intimidated about inserting zippers into pillows, this is a great option to quickly and easily make a new pillow cover for your room. To make this envelope pillow, you're going to need your pillow form. I'm using an 18 by 18 inch pillow form. You'll also need, of course, a sewing machine and thread to match your fabric, scissors and pins. You'll also need your fabric, and we're going to cut out our fabric into three pieces. One piece for the front and two pieces for the back. I like to cut my um, fabric the same size as my pillow form. So since my pillow form is 18 by 18 inches, I've cut the front fabric 18 inches wide by 18 inches long. For the back fabric, um, it's, it's real easy to figure out how to cut it. You're going to need the same width as your front piece. So the width will be 18 inches on my pillow. So whatever the width of your pillow form is. And then you would take whatever the length of your pillow form is, and mine is 18, add 6 inches to it, and that equals 24 inches for my pillow. And then you're going to cut that in half. So 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Each of these back pieces is 18 across and 12 long. Next we're going to take our two back pieces and I've got my fabric wrong side up and we're going to make a small hem for the edges that will be the overlap in the middle of the pillow. So to do that, I'm going to turn up a half inch on the edge of the fabric and iron it. And then I'm just going to fold that under so that I've got about a quarter of an inch hem and iron that too. And you would do the same for your other piece of fabric that goes on the back of the pillow. At our sewing machine, we're going to stitch down our hem, doing that on both pieces of the back fabric. You can see that that makes a nice hem for our back pieces. Next we're going to lay out the front side of our pillow with the fabric right side up and then we're going to lay our two back pieces on top with the right side together with the front side, the wrong side up. We're going to align the fabric along all the edges. Here's our overlap. And then I'm going to pin around all four sides of the pillow. Now that I've got our pillow front and back sides pinned together, I'm going to take them to the sewing machine and we're just going to stitch around all four sides of the pillow. I've 
flipped all four corners of her pillow, cutting at an angle, making sure not to clip into my stitch line. And later on, when I turn this right side out, that will give us a nice crisp corner. And that's what we're gonna, going to do now. We're going to turn our pillow cover right side out. And to make sure that those corners really get poked out nicely, I love this tool. It's called that purple thing. And it just helps you to push that corner out. And then I would do that for all, all of the corners. Just insert your pillow form in your envelope pillow cover. Here we've got our finished envelope pillow. We've got our nice front side and then on the back side where we made our flap to insert our pillow form. I hope you've enjoyed this sewing tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorial videos, subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out more sewing tutorials on my blog, newtoncustominteriors.com.